What would happen if you decided to go to trade school instead of college? Would you be wealthier or worse off? Now, I myself went to college and I got a degree in accounting and that was a bachelor's degree that cost me over $80,000. But not just that, guys. It wasn't because it was my dream and my passion to be an accountant, but it was because my counselors and my teachers made trade school look like it was for losers. But come to find out after doing some research that my teachers and my counselors were all wrong about trade schools being for quote unquote losers. It's not true, it's not true, it's a lie. And that's why in this video, I'm actually gonna show you the top seven highest earning trade jobs out there that when you compare them to regular college students and what they earn after they graduate, it makes it look like the college students are kind of poor compared to a person that went to trade school, graduating like one year or two years. So stick around to the end of the video if you actually wanna find out what the top seven highest earning trade jobs are actually out there on the market. Now guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson, I'm an accountant, and I've been practicing personal finance for the past four years. And on top of that, unlike your biased teachers and counselors that make money when you go straight to college and get more funding, I'm not biased, I have nothing to gain, so this is 100% facts and 100% honesty, and that's why I actually decided to show you guys the top earning jobs out there when it comes to trade school. Because a lot of people out there say, oh my gosh, if you go to trade school, you suck, it sucks, you're not gonna get any money. But the truth is, they're lying and they don't actually understand what they're actually talking about. And that's why I made this video, to confirm a few things and to kind of show you guys that, hey, you can actually earn a lot of money if you just go to a trade school instead of going to a college. Now guys, I do post videos on this channel every single day. Yes, I said every single day there's a new video on finance, credit cards, or whatever I didn't teach you in college or school because it wasn't that important. And if you wanna be the first one to actually see the video, make sure you click subscribe, hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload a video, you're the first one to actually get notified and watch the video. Now on top of that guys, we do have a little tradition on this channel where every single time before the video actually starts, I ask you guys a question, have you guys answer in the comments down below, and then after the video when you have all the information, you respond to the same comment, but now you tell me what you actually think about the entire thing. So here's a question, question number one is this. So let me know in the comments down below if you went to college, trade school, or if you're just looking to see what you actually benefit from the most, either going to college or going to a trade school. Let me know in the comments down below right now before the video starts. So now that you've commented, let's get right into the video. But before we actually start guys, I actually wanna tell you guys a few facts about college and trade school and here they are. Now, first things first, you might say, Tommy, you can't talk about college because you went to college and you got a bachelor's degree in accounting so you're educated, that's why you make YouTube channels, that's why you know about finance. But the truth is guys, I didn't learn any of the information here in this channel in college, like at all, it was literally $80,000 that went down a drain. Like literally, legit, it just went down a drain. The only thing I got from college was like meeting like my girlfriend and that was about it, but like nothing else. But here's the deal guys, everything I've learned so far, everything you've seen on this channel, it was self-thought. Yes, I did go into college and learn accounting, that's great, that's awesome, but everything else, like credit cards, like how to make more money, how to increase my cash flow, how to make more income, like streams of income, like all this stuff, I learned it by myself by reading more and more books and self-educating myself every single day. And for me guys, grades were always so easy to accomplish because all you had to do were, oh my gosh, okay, I go to class, I listen, I do a test, boom, I pass, no big deal. 3.9 GPA, 4.0 GPA, like I did very well in school, like no, like no problems there, but it doesn't really make any sense because you graduate, but all you know is a whole bunch of information that doesn't really benefit you. And when you do graduate and you go into a job, they still have to train you because in reality, you don't even know what the heck you learned for the past four years. So I'm not biased and I just went to school because hey, I was one of those people that got manipulated by the school system that would say, okay, listen Tommy, you gotta go to college because if you don't go to college, you'll be a loser for the rest of your life. Well, uh, okay, I guess I'll go to college and just get into, into, into student loan debt and that's what I did, but not really because I have a little surprise at the end of the video, so stick around. So great segue, student loans, right? Compared to trade school and regular schools, here's the main difference. If you go to college, you will have, on average, around $36,172 well, $37, in student loan debt by the time you graduate. If you go to trade school, you'll only have around $10,000 or maybe less, maybe a little, but college is almost three times higher than trade school. And you might say, Tommy, you know, if you go to, if you go to college, you're gonna earn more money, so it just adds up, you know what I'm saying? In reality, I'm gonna reveal some facts later on in the video that might prove you wrong, so make sure you stick around for that, because 
you're gonna be surprised just as surprised as i was when i actually figured this out now great segue again when it comes to salary if you go to college on average you will graduate on average earn around fifty thousand five hundred and sixteen dollars and i remember when i was in college guys i did some math on a piece of paper and i was like okay if i graduate I'm gonna earn around $60,000 for my first year. If I keep that up for the next 16 years, I'm gonna earn my first $1 million. In 16 years, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna wait 16 years to make $1 million without eating, without any taxes, tax evasion, and all this stuff. And I said, no way, I can't, can't, cannot, I cannot do this. But I did graduate, so there's that. But I did the math and it just didn't add up for me. And here's the thing. If you do go to trade school compared to this $50,000, you will earn between $25,000. And you might say, okay, Tommy, it's $25,000. Obviously, if you go to college, you will earn more money. So it just makes sense. End the video right here. But no, you will earn between $25,000 to around $302,000 a year. That sounds insane, right? But the thing is this, guys. When you go to trade school, you get skills you can automatically start working on. And on top of that, if you get those skills automatically two years early before that person that went to college, you can start creating your own business around that trade. And guess what? You can earn a ton more money. So I'd rather get $25,000 starting out and go upwards to $300,000 rather than being in a job that pays me sixty dollars and gives me a 5% bonus every single year. Just doesn't add up for me. I'm not going to wait 16 years to earn my first million. I don't want to do that. And by the way, if you're, if, you're, if you're curious, by the way, I plan on earning my first million before the time I'm 30. And that's like less than 10 years, less than eight years, obviously. But yeah, that's my plan. And I can't wait 16 years to accomplish that. And I'm not talking about earning. I'm talking about having my first million dollars cash in the bank or whatever that I have liquid. Because if I went to regular job school or whatever, yes, I would have earned a million dollars in 16 years, but I would have not kept it because I have rent, I have a whole bunch of things that I have to cover, and I have taxes also that take around 35%. So there's that. Now, another fun fact and statistic is that the average person that goes to college, well, before I tell you this, I do want to say this, okay? Everyone says, you know, Tommy, this, this, was my, this was my mom, by the way. Tommy, you know, you need to go to college because if you go to college, you're going to graduate, you're going to get a job, and it's just amazing, and then you have more opportunities. And here's the thing, mom, you didn't know this, did you? That the average college student, that when they graduate, 53% of them can't find a job or they get a job that doesn't even require a bachelor's degree. That's 53%. That means that basically it's more than half. Basically, one in two college students that go to college, when they graduate, they get a job that doesn't even require a bachelor's degree. So there's that. Think about that. And when it comes to trade school, they have over a bunch, bunch, bunch of jobs that have over 110% when it comes to job growth, meaning the jobs are growing steadily, increasing very fast because, hey, they need those people to start working and make money ASAP. And for all the people out there saying, Tommy, you know, I don't care about the student loan debt because I'm going to work while I'm in college. I'm just going to make money. I'm going to pay it off. I don't have any student loan debt. Uh, you might be surprised to actually find out that around 80% of the people that go to college, they actually have part-time jobs, but they still can't afford to go to college. Meaning that if on average, the average student that goes to college has like around $37,000 in student loan debt, meaning that even though they work while they're in college to still accumulate student loan debt. So just by working doesn't mean you're going to be able to pay off over $25,000 every single year because that's the average cost of college. And on the low end, might be $20,000, but how the heck are you going to earn $20,000 part-time while going to school full-time and trying to make sure you get good grades? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't really add up. And that's why people are graduating with a bunch of student loan debt. Now, here's another fun fact, guys. And I think most of you guys will be surprised by this. And is that on average, the average college costs around $20,770, right? Which is around, around $1,770 every single month. So if you had taken that money that cost you to go to college and get your bachelor's degree for four years, if you had taken that $1,170 for those four years at a 7% interest rate, you would have had around $92,000 by the end of the time you actually graduated. So that means you would have graduated with almost $100,000 if you didn't go to college. So think about that. So I'd rather 10 times just invest my money in the stock market and index funds using Acorn. If you don't know anything about that, I have a link in the description down below. You get five bucks just for joining. But here's the thing. I'd rather do that have over $100,000 in less than four years than going to college, giving them my money and graduating, still owing a ton of money. It just, it just doesn't, it's just not, it's just not a good business plan. Okay. It's not a good business plan. And the last fact, well, tip that I should have to tell you guys before the video starts on the top seven highest paying jobs out there. Well, here's the deal guys. 
it doesn't matter how much money you make. It only matters how much money you keep. And there's a ton of statistics out there that say one in five millionaires in America have a regular nine to five job. So it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep because there are a bunch of lawyers, doctors, people out there that make thousands and hundreds of thousand dollars every single year. But when you check their debt <laughs> to income ratio, it's like horrifying. They have a big house that they can't afford. They have Maseratis, like a whole bunch of nice cars, blah, 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 but they can't afford them. So just make sure you understand this. It's all about how much money you keep, not about how much money you make. So comment down below. Now that you know all these little facts, comment down below which one you think is better, college or trade school. Again, I'm not being biased. I'm just stating the facts. Just let me know in the comments down below. Comment college for college. Comment trade school for trade school. And here it is, guys. Here are the top seven highest earning trade jobs out there on the market today in 2019 or 2020. I'm pretty sure these jobs are going to keep growing because they have a very lasting, long job growth ahead of them. So just keep that in mind. I did pick different ones for different types of people. So don't worry. I probably have one in here that you will almost guaranteedly like. Now, the first one is that if you love teeth, you can actually become a dental hygienist. Hygienist. Hyg I can't really say that word, but I, a dental hygienist. Okay, yeah, a dental hygienist. You can actually become a dental hygienist if you love teeth. And this job pays around $54,000 every single year. It has a job growth of around 20%. And on top of that, guys, if you're wondering, well, you know, Tommy, if I go to school, become a dental hygienist, well, hygienist, hygienist. I can't say that word. I'm so sorry, guys. But if you become a dental hygienist and if you're earning around $50,000 for those first two years while that person is getting a bachelor's degree, well, guess what? By the time they graduate, you just made around $100,000. And if you're working part time, that's around another $50,000. It's around $150,000 of earning power before you actually graduate with a bachelor's degree. So just think about that. Meaning that by the time you get your bachelor's, you would have earned already around $150,000 that the other person would have never earned. So one year to two years makes a big difference when it comes to getting started in the job market. Now, the second one, guys, is that if you have attention to detail and you're at least a little tiny inch of strong, well, you can actually become a plumber. And fun fact, I just, I, okay, I'm, a kind of, I'm kind of embarrassed by this, guys, but just today I found out that the word plumber actually has a B in it. I'm, I'm sorry. Plumer. I thought it was just like spelled like plumber. Like, you know, I never really heard the B in it until today. So just a fun fact, just being honest, don't comment down below, no hate please. But if you become a plumber, you can actually earn between $50,000 all the way up to $60,000 and average. But here's the deal guys, if you actually become a plumber, imagine this. If you become a plumber in the future, I believe that there will be plumbers on demand, kind of like Uber, and there's a big job growth for those people there. And on top of that, if you become a plumber, guys, you can actually form your, whole, your entire whole company and have people work with you also. And then guess what? Now you own a business, you have other people that work for you, and now you can earn more and more money and have a lot of earning potential. And a lot of jobs out there, guys, for example, if you work a regular nine to five, you won't really have any time like nine to five and you sleep for eight hours. You only have six hours left on an average. You travel for two hours. Well, here's the deal. On average, you'll be so like inside of that job. You won't really have time to actually grow because the business doesn't really promote like growing and building your own business. Like it doesn't do that. It just keeps you inside the loop forever. But if you become a plumber, it actually promotes you to actually, you know, get other plumbers to work for you, get other jobs, get other contracts. And then that's a pretty good deal for me. And if you're wondering what the job growth for this job is, it's actually 16%. No, the machines won't take this job over. It's way too intricate. It takes a lot of details. And I don't think a machine is going to ever be able, well, not yet at least, you know, because algorithms are going to crazy, but not yet for the next like 20 years. Not, I don't think a machine's going to be able to like walk in your home and be like, Hey, what's your problem? You know, can I fix your pipes? I don't think that's going to happen for a while. Okay. So you're safe to go. If you choose this job and remember guys, it's not about how much money you make it's about how much money you keep and none of these jobs are supposed to be like oh my gosh this is my lifetime job i'm gonna retire with this job no these are jobs you take you invest money over time you build your business and then guess what now you have passive income coming in and now you can choose whatever job you want to do or focus on whatever you want to focus on because you have passive income coming in every single day passive income is money that you earn without really having to work for it. Now, the third one is this, guys. If you like the internet and websites and all that fancy stuff online, you can actually become a web developer. And here's the deal, guys. This job earns around $58,000, $448. But that's not even the biggest deal because once you have this skill to make websites and develop things, you can actually go around to businesses ask them to build them websites and run them ads for their products and get them more sales. And you can actually get paid between $1,000 to $5,000 per client. And Tommy, how am I going to get the money to do all that stuff? You know, once you have the scale, 
Don't worry, those businesses, like they make a ton of money so you can do that. And plus, the job that you're doing for them is gonna get them more sales, more money, so they're gonna wanna hire you to spend more money on you and you in return will make more money. So imagine earning $58,000 and having at least like three clients to pay you $2,000 a month. That's $6,000 every single month from your side hustle, your side business. So that's why I really like this entire career. And the job growth for this entire career is around 15%, meaning that it will keep rising over time and it will be necessary to actually have more web developers out there because the internet and internet marketing is becoming more and more of a focal point in today's society. So think about that for a second. It's a very unhigh demand job. And now guys, the honorable mentions. I did say I was gonna give you guys seven and I will give you seven, but I won't go into detail with all seven because obviously it's all about how much money you keep over how much money you earn. That's the overall team here. So that's why I'm actually gonna mention all of these guys, but I'm actually gonna have links in the description down below. So if you wanna keep searching and looking for the ones you actually like and get more details, you can actually click the link down below and get that information and you can go on and do more information searching and actually find out for yourself. So the fourth one is an electrician. You can actually make $55,000 a year by doing this job. Surgical technician, that's the people that actually go into the surgical room before the doctors actually come in and they fix it up and stuff like that. You can actually earn $47,000 every single year off this job. The sixth one, construction manager. If you like constructing things, I'm not really good at anything like that. You literally give me like a like like a shelf and I literally make a table out of it. Like I'm not good when it comes to constructing things at all. But if you want to be a construction, by the way, I mean like buildings and stuff like that, okay? Not like constructing tables. That's not what I mean at all. But you can actually earn between $49 to $77 every single hour, which is insane. It's a lot of money. On average, people that graduate college, guys, by the way, a lot of the people that graduated college from me, and this is not funny, by the way, it's not funny at all, but they have a ton of student loan debt. One. And on top of that, they don't even earn any money whatsoever. I'm talking about maybe between like 20 to 30 bucks. I've seen ones that like earn $15 to 30 bucks too. So it's that bad. I have friends that graduated with a bachelor's degree and they're literally earning $15 an hour, guys. And it's sad for me because I know, I know, I know they tried their best and they just made a huge mistake by choosing that career and now they have student loan debt and they don't even know how to pay. And that sucks for me. That's why I'm making this video because if I can help one person snap out of that circle and just find something different that actually helps them out, that's why I make these videos, guys, okay? Now, the seventh one is actually become an aircraft mechanic. You can actually do this and earn between $31 to $45. And by the way, guys, realize that I mentioned a whole bunch of different types for different types of people. So whatever you like, you should find one in here that you might like at least a little bit. So guys, now that you know all the information, the top seven highest earning trades jobs out there, like dental hygienist, which I still can't really say properly, let me know which one is your favorite. So comment down below which one is your favorite and tell me why. And tell me which one you were actually the most surprised by. Because my, the one that I was mostly surprised by was the surgical technologist. I never thought I would hear something that has two years of school in and has the worst surgical in it. That was like the most surprising one for me. And it only earns around $47,000, but it's still good money and you still don't have to go to college and like inquire like $50,000 of student loan debt. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can just get this job and just get started. And then from there on, you can keep building and building and building and growing and growing and growing. Now guys, here's my final thoughts. Obviously my teachers, my counselors, they were all wrong about this entire thing. There's a lot of jobs out there you can probably do that earns you a lot of money and they can actually earn you way more money than any college job can possibly earn you. So here's the thing guys, I wanna make sure you guys understand this. I'm not opposed to going to college if you want to become a doctor, anything that requires like a lot of like schooling that's mandatory, I want you to go to school if you're gonna be a doctor because if I get sick, I want to be taken care of by a professional person. But if that's not your thing and you just want to earn money and you want to find one of these jobs and actually start earning money as fast as possible, like college isn't for anyone, man. College is not for everyone, and the ROI is usually not there. And guys, half of the people that go to college, like they make it out and they can't even find a job, and the jobs that they do get. They don't even require a degree. So just keep that in mind. I'm not like obstructing college and like the worst thing ever, which it kind of is, you know? It keeps going up in price every single year. And on top of that, people keep getting into more student loan debt every single year also. It just doesn't look like a healthy investment for me. And that's why if I could have picked in the beginning to go to trade school or go to college, I probably wouldn't have done any of them. I probably would have just like started my business and just started educating myself from the very beginning. But since I, you know, since hindsight is 2020, I can't really say that because of, I went to college. The only reason I became the person I am today was because I did something I didn't like so much that I was like, okay, I need to find something that I actually like. And this is how I found this because I did college. I didn't like it. I did it every single day. I was like, oh my gosh, I got a whole bunch of ideas to things that I could be doing possibly at that moment 
that I didn't have to do like going to college. So that's how I got these ideas. So I should become like a YouTuber. Maybe it's about finance, educate myself, make money, become wealthy and all this fun stuff that I really like doing now. So, and also guys, if you want to start investing, and you want to start making money, putting money in the stock market, or whatever you want to do, I recommend you guys get Acorn. And guys, you might say, Tommy, I'm not going to start doing investing. I don't have any money. Guys, you can literally start for free. If you sign up today with my link in the description down below, you get five bucks. And you might say, Tommy, yo, just five dollars. You're so cheap. And here's the thing, guys. I started a few months ago, literally just for five bucks. And then I literally grew it to over $3,000. I've earned a whole bunch of money from dividends. And you get paid every single time you take an Uber and a whole bunch of other things. Okay. So it makes sense for me. And eventually every single dollar adds up. So just keep growing your entire investment account. And before you know it, you will have around $14 million because that's what I'm projecting. By the time I turn 65, I will have around 14 to $12 million in my investment account. No problem. And this is, and that's just my investment account. I'm not even going to talk about my check-ins accounts and all my other investments in real estate and all that stuff, because that's, that's top secret until then. And comment down below guys, before the video is over, let me know if you'd rather invest your money rather than invest it in a bachelor's degree. So here's the entire deal. If you invest the same money that you would in a bachelor's degree, you would have around $90,000 by the time you graduate. But if you invest the money in a bachelor's degree, you would be down like $90,000. And on top of that, you would owe the school around $30,000. So let me know which investment you'd rather do. And guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. And I can't stop smiling because college is, <laughs> college is such a special thing, you know? I love it so much. I really don't. But guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and like the video. And comment down below why you like this. I can keep making videos like this. And if you dislike it, dislike it, okay? And let me know in the comments down below why you dislike it so I can keep improving and growing as a person. And if you like these videos, guys, make sure to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload a video, you're the first to actually see it. And on top of that, guys, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno a uno, DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. We can talk through there. I can help you with whatever problem you have. I always respond to my DMs. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching and peace. <laughs> You've got to start at the bottom If you ever gonna reach the top You've gotta watch all the seeds you sow Don't let the 